What are the main steps to 3D print your first single crown? So this is one of the most common questions for those who are beginning to work with digital dentistry. Everything starts with our three-dimensional object, which needs to be offered to us as an STL file. STL stands for Standard Tessellation Language, and this is the file of our three-dimensional object that we want to 3D print. Okay, These objects could be a crown, a prosthesis, a surgical guide, an orthodontic aligner, a dental cast, or any other type of device that you want to 3D print for your treatment. Here, the first thing to do with your STL file is to import this file into a slicing software. This is pretty much an example of a slicing software. That's the Photon Workshop selecting the position of our 3D objects in the printing bed. Okay, uh, So that's the first step that we need to do. We need to choose our uh, 3D printing strategy and then there are a lot of parameters that we can uh, set up here. So there are several parameters that we can adjust here. Some of those parameters are slice uh, setting parameters, uh, others are uh, parameters of the 3D printer and uh, the position of the objects in the printing beds, uh, the angulation, and everything will also influence the final results regarding mechanical resistance and so on. So here in this case we have eight crowns uh, that are being used for a research project. They are being positioned here in the printing bed with supports, right? So they need supports to be 3D printed. And now in this other screen we are selecting the shape of the supports and the position of those supports as well. Then we need to click on a button which is the slicing tool and this will uh, basically export our files into an extension that is uh, readable by the 3D printer. Right? So here in this case we are using an Anycubic Photon Mono X 3D printer and the file extension accepted is the PWMX. So we are now exporting uh, this file and this is the strategy of the different layers that will be 3D printed by the device. Now the next step is to uh, use the resin for 3D printing, so we need to select our resin. There are several different types and here we should be careful, uh, first of all, because since the resin is toxic, we should use a proper mask, ideally with organic filter, and we need to make sure that we shake the bottle of the resin before using this resin. So there are even machines that will you know, do this procedure of shaking the bottle in a regular way in order to have the best priorities of this resin during the 3D printing procedure. So the resin should be stored in a proper place with temperatures ranging from uh, 25 to 40 degrees. So now we are pouring the resin uh, in this removable tray of the 3D printer. Of course, we should avoid bubbles. There are some regular procedures that we need to follow here which cannot be covered in this short video. Of course, we need to make sure that the 3D printer is calibrated and with all the movable parts working properly. Then we close the 3D printer with the cover and now we are ready to start our 3D printing procedure. So we need to take the file that we sliced in the slicing software, the PWMX file, uh, so the file is here in a USB driver and we just need to plug the USB driver and select the file that we want to 3D print. So this is a LCD 3D printer which will print uh, each layer in a regular way. The printing bed of the 3D printer will move down uh, and the 3D printer will print the objects layer by layer by light curing. When the process is finished, the 3D printer will let us know and then we can scrape the object off the printing bed. So first we need to wash the 3D printed objects using 99% ethanol or IPA. We also need to make sure that we are going to dispose those materials appropriately. And then we need to use a light curing chamber to finish the light curing procedure of our 3D printed objects. For this purpose, we are here using a wash and cure device from Anycubic in order to make this process a little bit more automated. Then we can finish and polish our crown and then we should be ready to use this crown in the patient. 